Hi, my name is Madison and I decided to research which gender has a higher pain perception. So when I was originally assigned this project, I actually wanted to test which gender has a higher pain tolerance. And as I conducted my background research, I found for two reasons why I didn't want to do that. The first one being pain tolerance studies had already been done and I wasn't going to learn anything new from that and neither were you guys. So there was no point in me doing that. And the second one being I didn't really know the real definition of pain tolerance. So pain tolerance can actually be defined as the amount of time somebody can withstand a certain amount of pain and pain perception is defined as the level that somebody would rate the pain that they're feeling. So that aligned better with my, like what I wanted to test. So since there really were no studies on pain perception, which is why I wanted to do it, I had to base my hypothesis on pain tolerance. So since men are proven to have a higher pain tolerance, I concluded that in my hypothesis that men would probably have a lower pain perception, meaning that they would rate the same amount of pain on a lower scale than their female counterparts would. So to perform my test, I took 13 men and 13 women and I had them do two tests for me. So the first test was I had them stick their hand in a bucket of 40 degree water for a minute and then the other one was have a binder clip on their right forearm for a minute and at each 20 second interval I asked them what amount of pain they were feeling according to the visual analog scale which is basically a scale that um, the medical professionals use to assess their incoming patients and like use it as a baseline of how to treat them so zero would be no pain at all and ten would be the worst pain and um, as you can see in my graphs, for both tests, the binder clip and the water, men had a considerably lower pain or pain perception, which actually aligned with my hypothesis. So although my hypothesis was proved correct, I do think there's a couple of things that could have contributed to that. And I think part of it was age. So for like the privacy of my participants, I didn't ask for their age. But for me testing, it was obvious when I tested my 10-year-old brother and he rated every single test a 10. And I did my mother and she rated them all a zero. I think that age had a lot of um, contributions to that. But just kind of like Blair's, the majority of my test subjects were my age. So I don't think it played a huge role in it. And a real world application of this is if I was a medical professional and I had a female come into my work and she had a paper cut, let's say, according to my data and she rated her pain a 7, I could maybe compute that to more of a 3 because according to my data, women have a higher pain perception than men. So I'd be able to like better treat my patient in that way. So thank you for listening. That was my